Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and some more Disney Plus reviews have been coming, because why not? This is Heavyweights. Heavyweights is a 1995 film that was directed by Stephen Brill, and honestly, this is the first time I've ever seen Heavyweights. So, this too is what Disney Plus is good for. I know that for kids it's a good chance for them to not only watch all of that current Disney crap <laughs> that they love but even the old stuff that we grew up on the kids get to watch it uh, fresh eyes but for someone like me who there's probably a few movies or more than a few movies on there that I haven't seen before here's a good chance for me to watch it. Heavyweights, the plot is we see a bunch of kids, but more specifically Jerry, they go to summer camp. But it's not just any summer camp, it's fat camp. And they're there because their parents want them to lose weight, want them to be active, want them to, to get in shape. Makes sense. Uh, but the, the usual process of this camp gets changed after the original owners have to sell the place and in comes Ben Stiller as Tony Perkins and Tony Perkins not only is he wild and out there and does his own thing but he sort of becomes a villain because of the way that he goes about things with these kids and how he treats them and so the kids have to fight back and figure out a way to take back their camp now what I thought of heavyweights was it's a cool movie. I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, seeing the premise about these kids and them being overweight and them having to go to this camp, it kind of said, wow, that's an interesting plot that they were able to do. You had to find a lot of fat kid actors to do this. Like, yes, the main guy, Jerry, played by Aaron Schwartz. Uh, he was also in The Mighty Ducks, but I haven't really seen him in anything since or other than this. He's fine. He fills the role, I guess, that he has to. But uh, I sort of think that the main character or the main actor should have been Kenan Thompson, who plays Roy. Uh, he's clearly the best kid actor, one of the best kid actors in this movie. He, and when you look back and how successful he still currently is on Saturday Night Live and whatnot. So, yeah, I just, I just think he's a stronger actor, I think. The movie maybe would have been slightly better, or the main character would have been slightly more interesting if it was played by Kenan Thompson. Also, Sean Wise plays Joss. He's another actor that I've seen in a few things. Uh, also, Boy Meets World in the later seasons. But he's the wisecracking one. He's the one that's always messing with Ben Stiller, for example. Let's talk about Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller has this knack. I know that not everybody loves Ben Stiller, and not everybody loves Ben Stiller's movies, and I know that you could argue that some of his movies he plays the same type of character over and over again, the guy who always gets beat up, or that type of thing, right? Well, when he plays a character, because there are movies where he plays over-the-top characters, and this is one of them, and when he does that, I think that's when he's at his best. He gets so into it, his mannerisms, his facials, the, the wild hair that he has, he, he's so committed, he's so into it. This character, Tony Perkins, he is like a cross between his dodgeball character and maybe his Happy Gilmore character. It's like if you took those two and merged them together, pretty sure this is what you would get. He's very eccentric, he's very over the top, and maybe at first just comes off as a bit too much for the kids, and you think that's all it's going to be, but then you find out that he's doing some things, like he wants to record his own infomercials with this camp. He wants to show that he can have these kids lose weight and then make money with these tapes on the side. Maybe that's a little nefarious, and maybe you can argue that, I guess you can't really argue, it's true that he does go too far by the way he talks to the kids, he talks down to them, calls them names, and takes things away from them, and yeah, so in those senses, he's not a great person, but if you think about what he's ultimately doing, he's pushing the kids, he's trying to get them to actually lose weight. When you see how many kids continue to go to this camp each and every single year and they don't lose weight, in fact, there's a whole bit where the kids gain weight when they when it's time for them to get 
Wade because they're sneaking in candy and food. And it's like, well, is Ben Stiller really the bad guy? Look, I know he's an a-hole. I know he did things like that. But he just wants these kids to lose weight. He, even he says, I used to be a fat kid. I used to be one of you. Is he telling the truth? I don't know. But still, it's like, come on. These kids are being sort of douchey. These kids are sneaking food. They are not really trying to lose weight. They're just here to have fun. They're just here to do whatever. They're not really trying to lose weight. And the movie almost tells you that that's okay. It's okay for these kids, these young kids, to be overweight. They're like 12 years old and they all weigh like 150. Once it's, some of them weigh like 200. What the hell? Um... Some of the other actors, I said Ben Stiller, but his parents, his real-life parents, Jerry Stiller and Anne Mira, they play the previous owners that he buys the camp from. Tom McGowan plays Pat Finley. He's one of the counselors there. He's been there forever. It's funny that he says he's been going there since he was, like, 10, but he's, like, the biggest guy out of all of them, and, like, it's not that that's a bad thing. It's just funny that he's at a fat camp. He's been going to this fat camp. But even he can't lose the weight, but yet he's, like, the lead counselor. Okay. Also, Paul Feig, who is a director now, we know from Bridesmaids and the female Ghostbusters and whatnot. He's an actor in this movie. I think I forgot that he used to just act in, in things. He's one of the counselors here. Uh, very amusing, especially the dance scene where he just kind of <laughs> goes all out. Tim Blake Nelson, who I swear is in everything, even if it's just for like one or two scenes, like in this movie. Jeffrey Tambor plays the father of Jerry. And Alan Covert, who you might know and remember seeing in virtually every Adam Sandler movie ever. He really does. He always plays a bit character in every one of his movies. Probably one of the four or five of Sandler's friends that you always see in his films. But this guy you see the most in. It was odd to see him in a non-Adam Sandler movie, just a random movie, and he's just there. He's the camera guy for Ben Stiller. So overall, this movie was fun. It was enjoyable. Sure, I have my questions and concerns about who is the actual bad guy here. What's good for these kids? Aren't they supposed to be losing weight? But yet, the movie makes it seem like it's this whole thing against it. Uh, I... I did notice that because this is on Disney+, Plus, it did seem like some lines were edited or redubbed. It didn't quite match certain lips and words that were being said. And so I think they did, that they did PG this movie down even more. I'm going to wonder now, is that a concern with watching movies on Disney+, Plus? you know? I mean, yeah, there were some jokes that they let slide in this movie. But still, I don't really want my films tampered with. You know, they have stuff like The Simpsons and other things on Disney+. Plus. Uh, are, are they going to be edited down? Are they going to be messed with? That's That kind of sucks. That's why I'm still a big component of owning physical media. But that's a different story for another time. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Heavyweights if you've seen it as well? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Is, is, is there big changes compared to the regular film versus Disney+. Plus? Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!